After seeing this biopic, I believe Wendy Williams and Lifetime should be convicted of first-degree murder. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Okay, so what I want to get into is a review about the Leah movie. Um, looking at that movie, it was terrible. And I understand why Timberland was going on Twitter and just trashing on it and calling bullshit. Because that shit was bullshit. Like, honestly, looking at the Aaliyah story, you would have a better understanding of it if you just read about it on Wikipedia. You know, first of all, starting off with the movie, the biggest issue was they were already having complications with doing this movie. And then... And then it, I felt that it was really retarded when I found out that Wendy Williams was the producer of this movie. Like, honestly, you could get somebody who really was really attached in this situation to make this movie. I want somebody who re you really feel that wasn't just a fan, but like, like, like indulged in Aaliyah's life, you know what I mean? And just in, in, enjoyed it. Now, if she put the money down, she put the money down, but she should have also looked at the situation. She shouldn't have tried to put this movie out on, uh, uh, based upon how she felt and, and that she finally wrapped the people up because honestly, it was weird. It was, it was so weird that Missy Elliott in the movie to me, didn't even look like Missy Elliott. It looked like a fat suit. Like, it looked like, what? like, honestly, I, in some, some parts, I felt like it was a Wayans Brothers movie. <laughs> like, it was, like, it was terrible. And it went by, and the thing, one of the big things is, is that, well, Lifetime movies, I noticed, is that they move really fast. They're really fast-paced movies. They go, they go through it real fast. So, you'd be at the very beginning, like, oh, and then at the end, like, huh. So, to put this movie out on Lifetime, this movie was just terrible. It was rushed. Everything about this movie sucked. Like, it, man, I'm sitting there watching this movie, and I'm like, gosh, this is terrible. And I'm just picking it apart. And then, here's the best, worst part of the damn movie. None of Aaliyah's music is in this movie. So, you're sitting there watching this movie, and like, what the heck? You know, like, I'm waiting for it. And then, the girl in the movie, man... Her singing was trash. Like, I mean, you know you can tell a person who can sing. Like, you're just not supposed... Honestly, you're not just supposed to get a face that looks just a, like, a, like Aaliyah. You're supposed to get somebody that can actually sing like her or has the, the power and energy like her. This chick didn't have anything like her except the look. Shoot, honestly, I made me question, like, is this what the hell Aaliyah really looked like? Like, that's how bad she was in this fucking movie. <laughs> and then the R. Kelly situation with her and R. Kelly, it was odd because I didn't feel in this movie that she was 15 at the time. I'm thinking like this chick was already like 20 years old. Like they were, their connection between her being 15 years old and R. Kelly being an old ass man already, it just didn't make any damn sense. It, it, it didn't make any sense. It I didn't feel like like oh like and the nigga looked like Joe. <laughs> like honestly, let's keep it honest. This nigga looked like Joe. And it just it just wasn't one of these movies that you expected. Like I know a lot of people expected that TLC uh uh um biopic type energy type style. No, you're not gonna get this. If you haven't seen this movie don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't want to watch the movie. I only watched the movie because I seen that Wendy Williams' reaction was, was terrible. She was crying about this shit. So I said, hey, let me see how bad this movie really is. Because if she's crying about it, I possibly might cry about it too. So watching this movie, uh, you're not really going to really feel like you understand the story. It doesn't feel like you know anything. The whole situation with Damien Dash... It, I don't know, man. It didn't. It felt like it wasn't even like real Damien Dash. Like you, you, if you listen to any of Damien Dash's shit right now, I'm pretty sure he was ten times worse at that stage of his life, and it just didn't really have any like, like real chemistry. It was like maybe ten minutes. Ten minutes. They met together. They he liked her, talked to the dad, and that was it. And then she gets into 
a dilemma and that was it and it sucked because you didn't get any of her last video any footage about that any information even if they just made the story based around that nothing you didn't get any of that it just ended it just ended right after she was in <laughs> uh in the limousine and then it puts on the credits you know how she died in a plane crash all six people died and it, i'm like man like like this movie sucked like it was it, it i mean it really shouldn't have been done because the family didn't really want it to be done and to put this movie out there it it was more of a no one's going to stop us. We're going to do it. So we're going to find whoever wants to do it. And come on, man. You you already had people saying they didn't want to do the movie. Another thing it was is that I felt it was kind of disrespectful with Missy Elliott and Timberland being seeming as if they were nothing. You know what I mean? They weren't not stars. And, you know, at the time, I didn't, you know, I didn't know really know too much information about them. But I can honestly tell you that the music that they made with Aaliyah would have never she would have never picked them if they weren't hit stars if they didn't have anything that she didn't want you know what i mean so movies trash i would prefer that you watch something else watch cartoons cartoons is better you know what i mean their story is way better but this movie was rushed this movie wasn't anything of uh it didn't feel like there was substance it just felt like it was terrible and honestly i'm not a fruitcake but there was a scene when she was singing uh, uh, uh um she was singing a song with the guys on the stage and these niggas didn't even have six packs it didn't even feel like a leah movie like like i'm like man like at least get some niggas with six pack you couldn't afford them tyler perry could why can't you ask him for some of his uh uh six pack sexy flexy niggas so that was one of another big issue, and I know it's weird that's an issue, but it's just the fact of like, man, this movie doesn't feel good at all. Like it was, it was terrible, man. The chick can't sing, and and she, you know, there was there was one scene of the movie that actually felt like a song she could sing, and I think it was Anastasia. That was the that was the song that actually was like, okay. This is a song for this chick. But all the rest of the songs that they picked to put in this movie, tch, man, it just didn't, it was like, it was, it was trash, bro. Like, it like, straight up, like, like, honestly, hopefully in the next 20 years when, you know, I have kids or, you know what I'm saying, uh, we forget completely about this biopic because we know we're not going to forget about the TLC and you know you're going to show your kids, kids this TLC when they see it. You're going to be like, um, so who's Aaliyah? If your kid asks you, who's Aaliyah? And you go, oh, I can show you. Hopefully by that time, they've already made a remake that was actually good. So I thank you for listening. Um, I recommend don't watch this movie because it's going to be a waste of your time. Cartoons is a way more better option. Um, doing cocaine is a way more better option than, than this movie, I guess. So I thank you guys. Hey, you have a good one. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. And honestly, would you believe the movie would have been that good when the woman who produced the movie's first name is one of the arch enemies of Ronald McDonald?